What if we want to go the other way? Go the other way. We are given the number of cycles per instruction and we need to figure out the bandwidth. So let's do some examples. Suppose the cycles per instruction is 20 nanoseconds. What is the B? Okay, B equals 1 over 20 nanoseconds. So we will rewrite our nanoseconds in terms of seconds. So nano is 10 to the minus 9. Okay, we can further rewrite our 20 as 2 times 10 to the 1 times 10 to the minus 9. Which we can further rewrite as 1 times 2 times 10 to the minus 8. Okay, so this was the law of exponents which said that, which says that x to the a times x to the b equals x to the a plus b. We have 10 to the 1 times 10 to the minus 9 equals 10 to the 1 minus 9, which gives us 10 to the minus 8. Okay, so this is the law of exponents. Now I will rewrite this as 1 over 2 times 1 over 10 to the minus 8. Um, so I'm going to change my units now to the instructions per second. And the reason I the word instructions popped up here is because this is actually 20 nanoseconds per instruction. Okay? But it's often understood so we have omitted it here. There we go. So now 1 half simplifies to 0 0.5 and 1 over 10 to the minus 8 simplifies to 10 to the 8th. Let's rewrite our 0 0.5 as 5 times 10 to the minus 1 times 10 to the 8. Okay, so your 0 0.5 equals 5 over 10 equals 5 over 10 to the 1, which is 5 times 10 to the minus 1. So, 5 times 10 to the 7th, using the law of exponents. Now, 10 to the 7th is not a, a name for any number, so we're going to rewrite this as 50, times 10 to the 6. So there's many different ways of manipulating your numbers so that we get something that is convenient to express. So 10 to the 6 is 1 followed by 6 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And the reason we want 10 to the 6 is because 10 to the 6 is million and if you remember from before, we know that bandwidth is millions of instructions per second. So let's carry our units back down here. Okay, this, these were our units. We now have 50 million instructions per second, i.e. 50. Oops. And this is answer. Okay. Let's do another example, a second example. Suppose your cycles per instruction is 400 picoseconds. What is your bandwidth? 
Okay, well, bandwidth is equal to 1 over 400. Now, pico is 10 to the minus 12. Okay, pico is 10 to the minus 12. Just as an aside here, pico 10 to the minus 12 nano 10 to the minus 9 micro is 10 to the minus 6. Okay, so what units do you have? Well, this is now just seconds. Okay, seconds per instruction. So let's rewrite that as okay. so I'm instructions per second and I'm going to simplify that to be ten to the minus ten and we're going to we write that as oops. Let's instructions for a second. One over four point two five. One over ten to the minus ten is ten to the ten. So let's see if we can rewrite that in terms of something something millions. Okay. So 0 0.25, so 10 to the 10 is 1, oops, followed by 10 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So let's put our commas in. Okay, well, we notice that this is a 10 to the 4th. And this is a 10 to the 6th. So if we take the 0.25 and the 10 to the fourth, we get 2500 zero, zero, and we're left with 10 to the sixth. So how do we get that? Well, this was 0.25 times 10 to the fourth we move the decimal point to the right four spaces, one, two, three, four. So we have well, 2,500. So now we have, let's put our units back here. So now we have 2,500, 10 to the six is millions of instructions per second or two five zero zero oops. Okay. Let's do one last example. Suppose your cycles per instruction is five hundred nanoseconds. Okay, so what is your bandwidth? Your bandwidth is equal to 1 over 500 times the 10 to the minus 9 seconds per instruction. Okay. So let's rewrite the bottom or the denominator as 5 times 10 to the 2, times 10 to the minus 9, and this leads to 1 over 5, times 10 to the minus 7. Okay, which we can rewrite as 1 over 5, times 1 over 10 to the minus 7. So 1 over 5 is 0 
1 over 10 to the minus 7 is 10 to the 7th because we can multiply top and oops we can multiply our top and bottom by 10 to the 7 10 to the 7 and so let's see let's rewrite this to be 2 0 0.2 times 10 to the 1 times 10 to the 6. So again, we have the foresight of wanting to wanting to express our answer in 10 to the 6 because bandwidth is measured in millions of instructions per second. So let's simplify this to be 2. Okay, so this is 2. By moving the decimal point um, one space over to the right, times 10 to the 6. So let's just bring our units back down. What are our units at this point? We have instructions for a second. And in fact, we have two. Okay, this is million instructions per second. In other words, we have two loops. And this is our final answer.